Hello again. If you remember a little while ago, we did a video about how to clean your tripod. There's a link to that video just up here. And um, in that video, we focused on the tripods that have the, the twisty legs. And um, a few of you have since asked me to do another one with a tripod that has clicky legs. Now, the reason I didn't do a clicky leg tripod clean last time, because I don't actually have a tripod that's got the clicky legs. But since doing my last video, a number of people have brought tripods to me, three people actually, and, um, and said to me, oh, would you clean my tripod for me? And one of those people has got a tripod with clicky legs. So I now have the opportunity to show you a video with a tripod cleaning for clicky legs, as requested. So here I've got a, a tripod. It's a carbon fiber tripod. Um, it's made by a company called um, Giotz, Giotz, Giotos. Um, I am familiar with the brand. It's not a, it's, it's not a one I'm totally, I've owned to be fair, not one I'm totally familiar with, but I've, I've heard of it. Um, and this tripod is, is a cam fiber, but it has um, the, the clicky legs. So I'm gonna show you today how to clean these tripods. Now, you're gonna need a few things. We're not gonna go into the detail of, of, of cleaning the legs like we did last time and how to clean the legs and all that kind of stuff. There's, you can use that other video for that. But I want to tell you how to take these legs apart to clean them. Now, these are different. The other ones, just you turn the wheel, you come off and, and, and away you go. These ones are a little bit different because you've, you've got this click mechanism. Now, you're gonna need, in this case, it's an Allen key and it's a, it's a relatively small Allen key. It's not the same size Allen key that does all the legs at the top. Um, or your traditional camera stuff. It's not the same one that does the tripod mount. This is quite a, sm a little bit smaller. Um, I have seen these with screws as well, like a Phillips screwdriver, but I'm just gonna use this Allen key because that's what this one requires. And I'm gonna bob it in where the, um, the top of the clicker is. And I'm going to literally gonna start turning. Now, I'm gonna put my finger underneath this tripod because when I feel it release itself, there it is. Just let me move this out of the way a little bit so um, you can see it. Oh, I'll leave that there. Um, let's not release itself just yet. It is screwed into a, a thread down, be down below. There we go. I think it's out. Now, when that comes out, you'll see there's a, a little mechanism with a long screw on there. We'll just put that. We'll just put that down for a second. Now, underneath here, where I've got my finger, is first of all a little, a little, a little screw. And that's a nut, isn't it? Not a screw. Let's put that to one side. But also, hidden in there somewhere, you'll always find this. I'll just try and poke it out with my um, with my Allen key. There we go. Is a little spring, and that gives it the, the that that kind of springiness. So what you then do is you can then take your leg, and you can pull it down to the bottom. This mechanism here, this this um, this collar that was held on by, by that nut and, nut and bolt, will literally just slide off onto, onto that leg. And then you've got these two little bits, one on top, you saw the one on the bottom fall off, the two little plastic collars. We'll put those there. And then that should now enable the leg to pull out. Now, as, as we get to the end, as, as in our normal other tripod, there is a little white fella um, this is white, obviously, uh, may not always be white, but there's two little clips there tucked inside the frame on top of the leg, just perched in a hole. And, and that's it, leg, leg in pieces. So now we can get a, uh, in this case, I'm gonna use a, a peg pad, um, which is great for, for just general cleaning. And I'm gonna give that just a bit of a clean around, knock some things around. Um, same on the end of the leg. This one's actually not that dirty, to be fair to it. Um, oh, now we're finding the dirt. Um, we're going to do the same with these little um, clips because that's also where the where the dirt will accumulate. Let's give them a good old clean off. Each of them. Good idea to do the screws. There's a lot of dirt. You can't, probably can't see it. There's a lot of grit in that screw. Um, will it come out? It will. I can put that down there. And I'm just going to... Easiest way to clean the screw is put it in your, in your hand and turn it anti-clockwise. Lefty-loosey, righty-tighty. So we're doing it lefty-loosey. 
right the way out your fingers and what that does is it cleans the, the threads, gets all the grit out of the threads and leaves it in your in your um, in your mat in your little um, cloth there. Screw doesn't the thread doesn't need to clean. That's pretty clean itself. That's it. So we don't need that anymore. Okay, so we've cleaned that area of the, of the mechanism, and now the interesting bit. We're going to put it back together again. So first things first, we're going to take these little white plastic fellas, and we're going to just bob them back into the little locating slots there. These little units then go back into the slot. You're very careful when you do this. In it goes, in it goes. Just don't put it all the way in because now what we've got to do is, is the rest of it. So next thing we need to put on are these two black caps that we've cleaned. They just kind of pop back on there. Then we need to take the, the, the collar, slide that over and it will just Go back on there, it needs a little bit of help. When I say help, I mean force. And then we should be in a position where we can put this mechanism back together. So we take the clip, drop the screw in. I know I, I always start by doing it, just dropping it in there. Then we need to take the spring, put the spring, you probably can't see that going in, into the little hole underneath. Well, I've got my finger on there. I'm going to take the, the screw and then bob the screw into the hole as well on top of the spring. Hold it roughly in place and then whilst I'm holding the, sorry, the nut, not the screw, in that position, then if I give that a twist, I'll be able to locate it. There we go, I found it. And then tighten it up. Now, when it comes to getting the right tightness, um, we want it so that it moves quite smoothly when it's up. When it goes down, we don't want it to move. So give it a pull, it's moving. So that means it's too loose. So it's what we do is get the, get the Allen key back in, give it a tighten up. I'm not moving that. And once again, it's quite smooth. We could probably just go a little bit further and that's why that that's why that um, little springs there, just to keep the tension on on the um, on the nut, so it doesn't it doesn't fall to pieces. And uh, I'll just keep going until it starts to um, stiffen up. Yeah, that's about it. I go in there, all locked up, closed. And that, in its simplest way, is how to clean one of these these tripods. They. Um, you know they 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 do they do clean up very well. They they take a lot of work sometimes because there's there's a few moving parts and they can get quite fiddly. But they do work. They do be, they can be cleaned and you can almost bring them back to back to new. As long as you look after them on a regular basis, most tripods will last a good while. It's when you don't clean them and and bash them around a bit that uh, that they start to fail on you. Um, good tripods should last for for many years. Okay, thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, please leave us some comments down below. There's a button just there as well that you can use to, uh, to subscribe to our channel. And uh, if you want to watch some more videos, try these two because uh, they've, uh, they've been picked from our channel that um, hopefully you'll enjoy those. Um, until next time, thank you very much for watching.